great. Let's see what he can do now. Of course, last season they tried a fancy dab and it didn't work. And Ketri went on to win that game 1-0. Whistle goes. And uh, brilliant save there once again from Paul White. And doesn't he look happy? Brilliant save from the Irishman, showing why we call him safe hands. And another poor penalty. Another Good ball. Yep, and another penalty. Well, well, well. Yeah, 2-0. Just before half-time, just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, he, did, he didn't listen to either of us. It was a great penalty, though. That was a great start, obviously. Two penalties early doors. It's a great start for the club, isn't it? Um, we used to put them both away re really well. Um, you, you can uh, ask for more, really, for the start. Yeah. Hales are in town. The Yelts have arrived here in their uh, very grey shirts with uh, Mikkel. Looks up. Kelly is unmarked. Receives the ball. Controls it onto the edge of the penalty area. Cuts in. Gets past one player. Puts a shot in. Oh, oh what is. a goal from Marcus Kelly. Wow. Absolutely brilliant work there from Ketron as... Uh, Mikul found Kelly in acres of space. Kelly advanced forward, got to the penalty area, got past one player at such a tight angle, fired that ball in and passed uh, Daniel Platt. 1 0 to Ketrin. Oh, opportunity. So Roberts has a shot off the crossbar. Well, I think actually Paul White got a hand on to that, yeah, actually, he did. and uh, it was a very, very good save indeed. It shows you that uh, one chance and they're almost back in it. Wonderful save from Paul White pushing it onto the bar. And uh, that is a corner. Kelly, though, plays it out towards Ben Tozland. Tozland just towards the uh, corner flag. Ball crossed in. Solcom is there. It's Brett Solcom who scores the second goal for Ketchum Town. Ketchum Town 2, Hales Owen Town 0. Fabulous cross there. Great cross there from Ben Tozen who finds Brett Sulkin unmarked, heads it in, 2-0 to Ketrin. Ketrin with their win against Barwell on Saturday. Could say a hard fourth win and uh, certainly going down to 10 players. Oh, opportunity here for Dubidat who plays it wide and scores for Bedworth. Early goal here, Ketrin switched off in defence. And Although this time Ketrin with Stora plays the ball over the top into the path of Hones. Enters the penalty area, plays it back towards Kelly. Kelly with a shot, Marcus Kelly scores! Ketrin equalised here after six minutes. Now we had two quick red cards against Barwell on Saturday and we've had two quick goals here at Latimer Park today on Bank Holiday Monday. As uh, we wait for the ball to be crossed in, Stora. Plays it towards Milnes. Milnes with a lovely cross there. Headed there. And that's a great goal from Dion Kelly Evans for Ketchum Town. Brilliant cross from Ben Milnes. And well received from, uh, from that defender there. Milnes cuts it towards Hones. Under pressure from the number two Whitmore. Who does enough to uh, control the ball. Under pressure though. Hones into the penalty area. Looks up towards Stora. Stora has a shot. Comes off Solcom. Off Milnes, Milnes finally puts the ball in the back of the net. Probably the third time of asking. Ben Milnes scores Ketchin's third. And Ketchin look back in control here at Latimer Park. Over the top, Kelly watches the ball bounce. Richens plays it forward and uh, the captain number 10 ended up on the ground there. Referee said no to a foul. Marcus Kelly, Stora. Switches the ball to the left, finds Hones, unmarked on the edge of the penalty area, advancing forward, goes past one, has a shot, and Reese Hones has kept the ball loads to the ground.
curls it at the far post around Daniel Crane and he finds the back of the net to make it Ketchum Town 4, Bedworth United 1. Step forward, Reese Honis. He's been uh, a pain for the uh, right-hand side of the defence today for Bedworth. And again, he cut in there and uh, vision to see that bottom corner. And Ketchum Fountains uh, to the left of us just singing, bring on the Christie, as in Eisen and Christie, former Ketchum Town player. Still uh, still liked by the Ketron fans as uh, Kelly receives the ball well. Has a shot. Good save from the goalkeeper. Another opportunity. Kelly controls. And this time plays with the goalkeeper by just controlling the ball. Taking it wide slightly and then tipping it over the top of him. Marcus Kelly with Ketron Town's fifth goal here after 73 minutes. Well, if at first you don't succeed, Marcus Kelly, uh, it was a good save to be fair. Daniel Crane parrying the ball away and you thought uh, okay the rebound has come to Marcus's right foot uh, is he going to have a shot no but he will make out as though he's having a shot the goalkeeper dives again and uh, Marcus just calmly chips the ball into the net you've been playing superb in the first uh, five games and uh, you've scored your first right. Ketron Town goal leaping up over the defenders the most diminutive player that we have <laughs> must have been great no, it was a great feeling, you know, especially being, being my first career goal as well. Um, you know, ever since I've been here, it's been um, great. The lads have been great. Um, the Gaffers and Stoller are really, you know, attacking, intent in the team. And, uh, five out of five, all that without a striker. <laughs> no strikers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, today everyone worrying about scoring goals. We've answered that question. But no, it's, um, yeah, it's a very, very positive feel about everything at the moment. You've seen the improvements in and around the ground, you've seen the improvements in the dressing rooms, you're seeing players with smiles on their faces and working hard, staff um, working very hard and really integrating with the group extremely well and um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how things are going. goes in and well it looks like the ball did go over the line there and it's a goal for Leaston. Honis goes past one player, goes past another. Referee gives a penalty and you know what that is a very uh, well it's all kicking off here at the moment there was a uh, a few pushes and uh, retaliations going on here and the referee just standing back watching I don't think it was a penalty, but I think Patrick Brothers is going to be walking uh, for number uh, number 11 for Leaston. That was clearly off the ball incident. Uh, had a go at uh, Rhys Honis, who was on the floor. And uh, I cannot see how it's anything else than a red card for the 11 for, uh, for Leaston. Well, as you said, it was an off the ball incident. He was nowhere near. He retaliated with, uh, with how Honis went down there. And uh, for a moment there, the game erupted. 
He has been spoke to by uh, Scott Tallis. All eyes are on the referee, who hands out a yellow card. But Brett needs to keep his head now and slot this one home. Well, he scored his 100th first goal on Sunday. Runs up, plays the ball to the left, and it beats the goalkeeper. Gets in, equalised here at Latimer Park after a fiery few minutes. 31 minutes on the uh, timer here, and Vets Holcomb scores his 102nd goal for Ketchum Town. Those of you who haven't been to Latimer Park recently, the fence now is up and around the ground. It looks superb, to be honest, and all the plaques that the people that are donated are actually uh, uh, on the side as well. Looks like a ground now, doesn't it? Yeah, towards Henderson. Henderson cuts past Marcus Kelly, keeps going, outstretched leg of Roe Turner, doesn't stop the ball. Ketchum still under pressure here. Reed crosses the ball over the top, and that play there. Patrick Brothers scores for Leyston. It is Leyston 2, Ketchum Town 1, the player who should have been sent off. Well, you've been instrumental also, along with Richard and uh, Dayton Honey, Richie June, in uh, bringing this uh, revelation back to Catherine. Finally, the, all the suspicions, the conspiracy theories uh, are over. Your thoughts and uh, your evaluation of what's happened uh, today. What a difference seven years makes. <laughs> That's all I can say. Richie says, I think, with, with the, the passion from the fans never died and, and the, the march that took place has sort of showed that we had to do something, or at least try to do something, and if it hadn't come off, well, at least we could say we did our best. But the key thing for us today, the key message for us today, is we have a side. Which is? French's Fields. French's Fields. I said I'd let uh, Richie say that, that's where it is, and that is by. But people may know where French's Fields is. We, we said <laughs> it in the, in the, in the actual uh, in, in the forum, and um, it, which is the top of the top of the gleam. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic news. Thank you for um, coming in. It's, uh, it's what every Ketchum Town fan wanted to hear, and uh, I'm sure that'll generate a lot more interest in, in the club, if not already. Well, good afternoon and uh, welcome to Latimer Park for this Emirates FA Cup second qualifying round. Well won by Salkin, but it only finds uh, Lindley. Storer mops up. The chase on now for Honus and the number five broadhead. It's going to be Honus. Might win this and it uh, goes down and it is a that's penalty. A clear, clear penalty. Clear but... penalty there. Great ball and uh, Broadhead uh, got into a tangle and uh, Honus goes down. Referee signals straight away to the penalty uh, spot. Salkin's already got the ball in his arms and the number five Broadhead looks like he's going into the referee's book, which he is. The spot. He steps up, referee blows the whistle, up steps Salkin. Never in doubt. 1-0. Salkin does it again, sending the goalkeeper white the wrong way. 1-0 the poppies. Trying to find Salkin, flick on by Salkin to Stora. Good work there, flicked on to uh, Wards from Honus, who's being manhandled. Referee allows play on, but now decides to give the free kick. That uh, is in a very dangerous position for the Mansfield side. Referee did well there. Uh, no, this looks the, the distance that Milne scored that cracking goal last season, I think, against Banbury. Could be wrong. Well, since then, he's not been too hot with the free kicks, although he has scored a, a couple of goals since. But it is Mills who's going to take this. Comes in and... Yeah. Well, I said he hadn't scored many and he's repeated it. What a goal that was. In off the angle and 2-0 Kettering Town. What a good goal from Ben Milnes. What? Well, I did say it was the distance he scored from before, but actually this went in the other side of the goal from the previous one. Hit the stanchion and went in. It's 2-0. It looks rather disappointing, the attendance, to be honest. But in comes the number 10 towards the back post. Paul White comes out. It should be a goal here. And is. Paul White completely missed it. And even the lunging dive of Darrell Berry on the goal line. Couldn't stop it from going in. And they're back in the game. 2-1.
coin toss has happened and the teams are staying at the ends where they currently yeah. are. Dion Kelly Evans, that's wonderful. And what a ball that is as well. So Linda Meikle over on the far left-hand side. God, she's right watch right. the offside, haven't they? Yeah, watch the uh, touchline. He still goes in. Oh, that's a penalty. Penalty. It is a penalty. Well, Holly. Linda Meikle tried to do the right thing and stay on his feet. He did stay on his feet, but it is a foul anywhere else on the pitch. Brett Sulkin has a chance to add to his Kettering and FA Cup goal tally and add to Kettering's lead in the FA Cup goal scorers. He steps up right-footed. Brett Sulkin scores it! <laughs> Wonderful penalty. I think he came in off the post, actually. Yeah, you he heard went... the clatter, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, throwing a little bit further down the line now. Reese Honis unmarked. Still going. Caught. Another penalty. Penalty, penalty again. Reese Honis went past the Hednesford player. And he was tripped. Will he go the same way? Will he go a different way? That's where the mind games come in. Sulkin steps up. Oh, he goes the same, same way and place. scores again. Almost identical, wasn't it? Well, you could just take the footage from the first penalty, cut it, paste it, and play it again because it was exactly the same. Right-footed, goalkeeper goes the right way. Again, Sulkin's put that with so much power into the corner again. Back to the number seven. He's got lots of space. Puts this ball in. Paul White doesn't come for it. Oh, great save, save by Paul White at the near post. Put back over again. And another great save by Paul White. And Pye wide of the goal. A goal kick it is. Wow, that was great for there for Paul White, wasn't it? He uh, he was alert. Had to pluck that off the goal line. Oh, two wonderful saves from Paul White. Maybe he could have come for the cross. Decided not to. And uh, the header was battered away at the near post by Paul. No one really committing forward that much. It's been played down the line to Honus. Honus has taken the touch. He's got Kelly Evans on the overlap. He uses him. Good ball. Kelly Evans still going. Still going. Penalty. penalty. It is a penalty. It's penalty number three for Ketrin. So he steps up. Penalty number three for Ketrin. Sulkin scores again. Very oh. cheeky, wasn't it? It was. It was the same side. Not blasted this time but placed delicately into the corner. Goalkeeper went the right way. Mikul, who He's gets on, on the, the edge of the ball now. now. Still going, ball low! Oh, ball what a goal! Scores. Lovely ball, what a great cross that was <laughs> from, uh, what a great cross that was from uh, Mikul. And uh, that's a brilliant goal, that's the fourth goal of the day. And at 1-0, if, uh, if football was a fair and just game, I think uh, we would have been playing against 10 men and I think we would have been 1-0. But it's not, 
uh, and at a very key moment the lads actually pulled out a wildie and it's just deflated everyone. Yeah, we haven't come away with a victory. I can be very proud of the uh, club, uh, the board in the preparation for what they give us for today. The fans were outstanding, uh, players give us everything. Just a fantastic foundation now to get this club moving up the levels. Well, nearly underway here. It's going to be the Glass Boys to kick off. In the... Not a lot on for him. He goes uh, one way again. Is he going to release Borg? No, he doesn't. He finds Toesland. Toesland might try a shot. In comes the shot from Toesland. And what a goal from Ben Toesland. 1-0. Oh, he took that spectacularly. Goalkeeper, no chance. Excellent finish. Uh, something out of nothing already. Right on the corner of the penalty area. Just outside the penalty area. Just rolled back. Uh, and criticism there from the uh, Starbridge uh, management for not closing Ben Townsend down to uh, close them down sufficiently. Come Referee on. waving play on. And uh, Towers releases Milnes on the left-hand side. Can he put, put a cross in this time? Find the man. He can. Reese Oates, yes! What a good goal that was for catching. Milnes there actually found his man spot on this time. It was Reese Honis. Uh, with a sort of a flick header at the front post and that is now Kettering Town to Starbridge nil. Kelly back to Towers in the Ketterin half. He finds Kelly Evans still in Ketterin's half. And Kelly falls down and it's a good chance here as Frohawk one-on-one -on -one here with Elmsom. He's at the wide angle, puts good it finish. through. It's a goal. One nil. Well, 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 that's against the form book there. That's Kelly flicked in. Borg should be a goal here. And is one-one. And who scored that? It looks like Declan, Declan Towers, Towers uh, gets the reply for Ketterin. We thought it was a good place for a free kick. Declan Towers puts the ball in, 1-1. One, one. It's all about the delivery from uh, Kelly. It looked a little bit, it looked like he'd, he'd gone a little bit flat, but it just, it got past the first defender, which is the first thing you need to do, and then it's landed. And Barry wins the ball back. He can only find uh, the Kingsland number four. My sheet has gone at the moment, so I can't read the, the names. It's uh, a bit windy up here, and uh, good help there from John Dunham. But catching away now with Lyndon Meikle. Go. He's got O'Connor to the side here. O'Connor puts one in, good save. In it goes. Aaron O'Connor. Well, the Kingsland fans were saying top of the league. You're having a laugh. They've just showed why they are top of the league. Uh, get two goals back uh, within a minute. O'Connor, two in two games. And Kettering Town take the lead. It'll be, it'll be excellent. It'll be an excellent uh, um, experience for him, and, uh, and best of luck for him. And uh, he's been a good player for Kettering. Well, here he is again by the byline, gets the ball over, and there's a Connor little flick shot in there, and in a goal. It's none other than Sulkin. Brett Obviously. Sulkin. <laughs> Well, if you've just tuned in and you're seeing this live, you can see Brett Sulkin score his 11th uh, goal of the season and another popular win. 3 1 to the Poppies. And we were just talking about Borg, weren't we? About uh, how, how good he's been and everything. And he won the free kick down here. He gets the Away comes Tosland again. If he gets another good cross in here, he does. There's Holman. And there it is. Debut goal. 4-1 There you go I don't think that will be the last goal he scores for Ketcher and Cookie that's my that, that, that's my prediction for you Oh Towers the uh, we got the equaliser in that uh, first half pumps the ball in towards Sulkin who got uh, the second goal in comes Toesland, across the park there, there's Holman, yep. and uh, in again, 5-1, Holman, 
Holman gets two. Surely not a hat trick on his debut. <laughs> well, it'll be a quick fire one if he gets one, then. But, but one brings two, doesn't it? And it's another chance in front of goal. Good work from Ben Tosland again on the. Uh, not really a lot on for him, so he's going to go long down the line. Flicked on by. Richens, but cleared back that way. Towers falls, no foul. And Stabridge inside the catch and half now, still going. Penalty. It was uh, Darrell Berry who marshalled the Stabridge player yeah. over and uh, for the referees liking too heavily. A hush falls over Latimer Park as he steps up, right footed. Whistle goes now. Up he steps. Scores. 1-0 Starbridge. And it's a penalty. And uh, Ketrin will argue the toss. But it won't matter now. Ketrin are 1-0 down at home. It's only the seventh goal they've conceded this season. Into the screaming Lyndon Meikle who wanted it. Is he going to shoot? I think he probably is. It's off. A hit. Well, the crowd fell silent as he hit that because it bobbled up and we did not know where that ball was going. The whole ground just stood and watched. And that ball dipped, it swerved, and it found its way just inside the top right-hand corner. What a fantastic goal. We haven't had a home game in a while, leave me alone. So, Holman, <laughs> with the ball now onto his left foot, puts the ball in. Richards is dead! What a ball in it was from Holman. Richens went one way, went the other way. His man was left on the floor and stabbed it into the back of the net. 1-0. Nope, it's now 2-1 to Ketrin. He wants to come on. Declan wants to come on. He's calling. He's still calling on. Still calling on. Still calling on, but he can't come on until the referee's checked him. That's the issue. That's the issue. The referee with a blood injury has to check the player before he comes back on. But there could be a chance for Starbridge here as they're through one on one. Two wall. Meikle's got a little bit of time, not much space. Great ball through to Aaron O'Connor. Great first touch from Aaron O'Connor. Good block. Lays it off to Marcus Kelly. Kelly, Holman. Holman shoots. Go! Dan Holman, two league games, two league goals. There's, this game is nowhere near over. Meikle still going. Meikle, reverse ball. Marcus Kelly on side. And it might very well be game, set and match. Well, everyone stopped, wondered what Mika was going to do. Was he going to pass it? Was he going to shoot? And what he does is he just plays a nonchalant little reverse ball through to Kelly. Onside, perfect run, takes a touch and just lofts it over the leg of the goalkeeper. Kisses its way in off the post. And it is now Kettering Town 4, Starbridge 2. And it may very well be what Kettering needed to get all three points. Good work that from Jordan Mills, the one who gave the the uh, corner away. And the Ketrin bench are incensed. Richards went in for a challenge. Richard Batchelor, uh, I don't know what happened after the challenge. It was about a second and a half after the challenge. Richards went down screaming, holding his face. The chance here is Dion Kelly Evans has the ball on the right-hand side, cuts in. He's going to put the ball across. It's a deflection, but it's gone towards the back post, headed back across goal. There it is! It's a goal and it's Aaron O'Connor! It's 1-0. It was recycled and recycled again from Ketrin. Dion Kelly Evans did wonderfully on the right-hand side. Put the ball across. It looked like it had gone too far. Ben Mills was there to nod it back across goal. And, uh, I mean, there was a cluster of players there. Any one of them could have got there first, but it was Aaron O'Connor tapping into the back of an open net via, I think, the shin of a defender who tried helplessly to keep it out. But it doesn't matter. Ketrin... Gary Storer, four. Now it's the number two, right back. That's uh, Ashmore. Ashmore puts it in. Oh, the ball goes all the way through. Should be a goal, it is. Redditch equalise. 
still not many goals conceded at home, but it's another one there. And Ben Milne shoots low. Good save by the goalkeeper. O'Connor's offside. Oh, it's a great finish. It's a really, really good finish, but he's offside. But we've got some more defending to do now. Oh, it's a goal. Redic put the ball in. It's a low one. No one gets on it. Roturner. Stora on the far side. Stora puts the ball in. As a fall in the box. Oh, and the player on the ground has managed to get the ball away. Only back out to Stora though. He's breaking into the box. Stora left footed across. Kelly Evans! It's an equaliser. Kelly Evans, how good did Starry, Gary Stora do there? It was recycled again, much like the first goal. They had a couple of bites at it. Couldn't quite get there. Then eventually Gary Stora found him with acres of space. Went to the byline. Punched that ball left footed across and it had some whip on it as well. Oh, okay. Stourbridge game apparently on, despite it saying all over Twitter that it was off. But uh, that's. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, well, that's, uh, forgive me. There was a harmless ball into the box. The Redditch player was gone down and Dion Kelly Evans is a judge to have fouled him. It's a penalty for Redditch. It, it looked like a, a very innocuous challenge. Uh, I think it was from Jarrell Berry on um, mm. Leacham and Whittingham, who is uh, going to take the penalty. No, it's uh, not his bachelor taking the penalty. No, no, it is Leacham and Whittingham. Shoot! Oh, good save, Paul White! Well, Ketrin may describe that as justice. Has got a lot of space there. He's played it over. Oh, and there's absolutely no one watching the man over there. Shoots. No, he doesn't. He twists back. It's a goal, Redditch. 3-2. Kelly's done well to block that one out. Kelly Evans. Kelly Evans. He's got Meikle on the right-hand side screaming for it. Meikle wanted the return to Kelly Evans. Wasn't on. So comes inside. Holman. Holman. Good touch. Really good touch. Shoots. It's scuffed on. It's dropped by the goalkeeper. Oh! And that's oh. Livid. O'Connor's put the ball in the back of the net. Wanted the advantage. Ketrin have now got a lot of work to do, but there's a, there is certainly a question of the goalkeeper. Honus had knocked the ball past the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper had absolutely clattered him. And he's going to be called over by the referee here. I think it depends on how the referee is going to interpret this, but I can't see any more than a yellow card. It is a yellow card well, for uh, mm. Reese Francis. Ketrin have a penalty with Reese Honus at that end to make it 3 3. Honus to take it, and this has to go it doesn't it's a poor penalty although we've just literally said it's shoot gonna on be a, sight. it's gonna be a cross yeah cross dinked in holman's there yes it's there it's three all it's done holman Woo! oh well <laughs> complexion it was a good cross oh complexion changed what a dink in it was from um, Marcus Kelly and let's talk about the run there were three Ketron players there any of which could have got on the end of that cool. Dan Meikle into Richens Richens through O'Connor it's a heavy touch but he's through O'Connor good save great save from the goalkeeper to deny O'Connor and make it 4-3 show class not quite ooze it yet short corner taken this time it was allowed ball goes in headed away flicked away by Piggan Storer's going to fall on it takes a touch Lofts it back into the area. Goalkeeper's come for it. He's nowhere near it. Holman lobs the goalkeeper. Oh, yeah! my goodness. What a goal. Dan Holman has made it four. Well, that is a truly stupendous goal from Dan Holman. The goalkeeper came for it. What he was doing, only he is going to know. And Dan Holman, he took his time. I thought the chance had gone. The goalkeeper had closed it down so quickly. And he just nonchalantly, just dinked it there's nothing more just a dink and the goalkeeper has watched it all the way he's stretched a hand out at it and he's clawed thin air as it goes in and falls into the back of the net it's Kettering Town 4 Redditch United 3 yeah, now everyone's in the box apart from the goalkeeper in missed by everyone Red goal it's 4 all well Kettering just had to hold on for about 30 seconds the corner goes in and uh, it's at the back post and that has taken the wind out of everyone's sails here at Latimer Park.
Well, uh, what a game that was. Blimey, yeah, just about unbelievable. It Can't was write. unbelievable. I had everything, didn't it? Well, eight goals, two penalties, two misses. <laughs> what was it like out there? I mean, to you know, to go one nil ahead and then two goals in in just about three minutes to go two one <laughs> down and uh, three two just before half time. I mean, they scored on forty five minutes and ninety five minutes. Yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> it was just, it was one of those crazy games. Like you're going to get one a season and. I think that was ours hopefully for this season um, we're not going to get everything our way things are going to be there's going to be a roller coaster there's certainly going to be a little blip a little run that we've got to manage or nullify I, i've got a lot of trust in the lads uh, in the way they conduct themselves so um uh, the fact that we we haven't lost and the way the game was it, um we uh we got a few things we can just tidy up on but the you know teams have still got to try and stop us from scoring and they defended very deep they defended very well they defended uh, for long periods. Uh, they gave um, give us possession, or you know, conceded possession, and we've come away with four goals. Um, so yeah, teams have got a lot of questions on how to stop us from scoring. Um, over the fifteen games, we've proven that we can keep more clean sheets than exactly we, we concede. So we'll put it we'll put it in its uh, its place where it belongs, and we'll move on. Brings it down, looking for something, goes through. And now Ben Baker has it. That's a heavy touch from him, but he'll keep it on. Twisting, turning, and he's found the number 10. He plays it along the... Oh, there should be a chance. It's a goal for St. Ives. Kettering undone. That's lofted in. It's 2-0. A cross in again, and it's the number five. And Kettering, their molehill to climb, has just looked a little bit more like a mountain. Right footed is on the right hand side of the D though. So it would suit a left footer, but it's a Oh, it's gone in. It's a good, good free kick and it's 3-0. Paul White rooted to the spot. That was a wonderful shot by Danny it's, Kelly. Yeah, you have to nothing. take your hat after that. Honus wins it. Holman doesn't get there and Ketron run away. But uh Holman's gonna go. Holman's off. That's an awful decision. Holman gets there first. The St. Ives player goes down. And Holman's then sent. Well, this game wasn't bad for Ketrin before. It's just gone even worse. On, a, on, on an individual basis, no one played to the level that we'd expect or have played up to now. Um... I can only but uh, apologise for their performance to the fans for what they've watched today. Um, you know, I back the players all the time, and we've had a lot of lot of positives this season. And I certainly don't want this to explode. Um, being here over over the years and times before, I know it can get a little bit exaggerated. So I just think let's just keep level headed. Yes, there's a few issues now that have arisen that we need to resolve. Um, you don't become a bad team overnight. You don't become a bad player overnight. This is the City Security Services Limited Challenge Cup third qualify third round. Ketrin haven't been this far for quite a few years. Uh, uh, First corner of the evening to Ketrin Town on our right hand side at the Brian Martins Pallet. Short corner taken to Toesland. Left footed puts one in. There's Holman. One nil. Good goal there from Dan Holman. And uh, good cross from Ben Toysland and Holman uh, puts it away with ease. Long ball on the opposite side here to uh, Elliot Putman on this left-hand side. He's coming inside trying to feed through McDonald. He doesn't. A push and a penalty. It's Darrell Berry who's pushed down the uh, number eight Tomkinson. And he was going away from play as well. Which there's no need to put his hands anywhere near the player. Just had to, he was going away from goal, just needed to shepherd him away. And uh, by instigating contact. So Bradley been... Hickey with this penalty. High into the centre of the goal. Paul Work went the right way, just away from his failing hand. And it is one all. Roe Turner takes his time whistle, goes up sends with a little trot, little more trot, takes three efforts, sends the keeper the wrong way. And 3-3. Uh, three, three. 
So Liam Canavan wants a catcher in town hero. Now is uh, facing goalkeeper Paul White. Canavan steps up into the ball here and misses. Hits the bar. And it, the uh, bar. it comes out and misses. Catch and take advantage. So Holman. Easy peasy. Puts it by Castle who doesn't move. Catch and take advantage. 4-3. Yeah, this is a must score for this the This is a Barwell's must score concerns. for Barwell, yes. So, Elliot Putman, who's had a good game for the Leicestershire side, steps up, takes it. And it's all over. Blazes it over the bar. All over the top. Hits the chimney. And Ketron Town win by four goals to three in the penalty shootout. Dan Holman. Seeking uh, Aaron O'Connor with a foot food ball, and Aaron O'Connor's in here, and Ketrin have scored! At something out of nothing, something out of nothing there. Headed on by Holman is towards uh, O'Connor and then number five, they've oh. both missed it, and uh, well, the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper collided with his own number five, Jarvis, and the referee's given a foul! Unbelievable! Oh my word. It comes in from the towers and a goal. I did say, didn't I, that uh, Towers scored a goal with his head against Alf Church. He's repeated the dose. Lovely goal. 2 0. Yeah, Declan Towers, a fantastic header. Uh, we know he's got that kind of capability. And a comfortable save uh, for, uh, for him. Flicked on by Holman to Gary Stora. Gary Stora finds uh, Reese Honus. It flicked on by him. And here comes Kelly. It's in. Yeah. Uh absolutely brilliant best of the lot Paul best of the lot that was a great move in uh, on the uh, on the far side great interplay between Reese Honis and Gary Storer lovely ball in to uh, Marcus Kelly on his left foot and that was only going to end up in the bottom corner wasn't it corners didn't deal with two counter attacks um, you're probably going to remind me of St Ives and Redditch and exactly the same we, um, we've worked and discussed uh, the strategies to do when teams are defending deep and giving us the territory uh, and as soon as we got the equaliser all that um, uh, structure and strategy just went out the window and I'm just uh, we've just had a discussion there bounce back ability I think is the word that uh, I hate to use but we haven't to use it quite often Unfortunately, we are this month. Uh, very uncharacteristic, like from uh, Kettering, uh, up until uh, the month of December. Our form was, uh, well, virtually immaculate. So, yeah. Paul White takes it towards Cunnington. Cunnington gets the ball to Meikle. Meikle might try a shot, just fires one. Oh, my word! From Lyndon Meikle. Well, he's won the goal of the month for October and November. I'm declaring he's won it for December. What a fantastic goal that was. Well, just on cue, talking about the quality, there was the quality of uh, Lyndon Meikle's right boot. A good 25 yards out, he let strike, and wow, top corner, right top corner. In comes the ball, it comes off the hitching player, deflection, and uh, it's left to Richards, might try a shot, does. And Richards, oh! <laughs> My word! Whatever you can do, Meikle, I can do better, says uh, Michael Richards. 2-0 as we go into the 46 minutes. Two stunning goals. Well, uh, <laughs> I didn't think we'd see a better strike today. Well, probably uh, certainly for the uh, rest of the season up here today, Paul. But uh, Michael Richards saying anything you can do, I could do better. That was probably even a 
two or three yards further out. Holman, Holman now with a bit of space to run at. Feeds the ball through to Kelly. Kelly leaves it for Cunnington. Cunnington feeds through Holman. Holman can't get shot in. Does. Oh, yes. What a good move. And what a good goal from Dan Holman. And uh, it's cleared by Hitchin, but only to Honus. Honus dribbles inside the penalty area. He's going through. Can he get the ball in? Oh, that's a penalty. Blatant penalty. He was taken out. You could see that all the way. Well, it gives Kettering a chance to go 4 0 up. It was a lovely move. He's over the ball. Referee blows the whistle. Tin Hat is there. Salkin steps up, takes it. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. 4 0. That's at Brett Salkin's 100th and 11th goal for the club and his 12th of the season. Breaks forward to, uh, to uh, Hitchin, but uh, Michael Richards, beautiful tackling. Wins the ball back for Kettering, trying to release Reese Hurness. And there's another penalty. Uh, referee making sure Mr. Johnson is on his line, ready to go. Here we go. Oh, that was a closer effort. It's gone in. Kettering have the fifth. But uh, Michael Johnson was a little bit unlucky there. This time he guessed right. Got a hand to it, uh, but just helped the ball into the roof of the net. We had a uh, in-house meeting um, constructed uh, with the staff and the players. Lots of positives came out of it in terms of um, what uh, needs to be done or restructured. Uh, you know, from from my direction to my staff's direction to uh, what they expect of each other. Uh, from individuals and, and each each department um, and we brought out the values that's required um, and certainly we uh, we highlighted them today and uh, we wanted to tick as many of them values off as possible which we did and you know there's no surprise that when you do you, you get a positive result <laughs> on by Kelly to Reese Honus having a run at the uh, of the defence going past Brown on the uh, right hand side and he's brought down and no no penalty for Kettering well there's the first contentious decision of the afternoon as Reese Honus was running through there he was brought down went down. in by Ben Diamond loses to Stora though Stora flings the ball over towards Cunnington Cunnington overhead kick misses it and the the cheers even Ed Palmer after that one it was back out wide again Ball to the number four, he's got loads of space, he should touch and shoot here. Honus has come back, it's a shot, it's deflected through, Lorraine goes past! It's a goal kick. In the centre now, it's the number four, takes a touch. Great challenge from Richards, he's caught late, he's caught late. And the Kettering fans are unhappy, Paul White is putting his tuppence in. Yeah, left, uh, that'll be a yellow card, that will... Uh... He's uh, left his stud in there. Studs in there on yeah, uh, there Michael Richards. Yeah, there we go, booking for the number four, isn't it? Jack Westbrook. Again, yep. it's one of those. He's not meant to. Uh, Richards has just got there first. That's all it is. They've both gone for the ball in, yeah. in a very similar manner. Yeah. He's just gone in with a little bit too much vigour and he's and Richards has got there first. Yep. Meikle has to get the ball to Holman. He does. Holman, he just met two, Ketrin, uh, two Diamonds players. And the ball goes long and Lorraine 
tries to go past Towers. Towers leaves it for Paul White who hits long. Holman is offside. And the header goes out of play for a throw in. Holman I think is struggling a little bit here. I wonder whether... I wonder whether... Um, it's got a blood injury. Is it? a blood injury again. Well Holman's saying there was feet, a yeah. uh, an yeah. elbow and there is quite a lot of blood there. Yeah. I don't know think it was an elbow. I think it was a stray hand. Well, he's in the face. Oh, yes. It is uh, Kelly with it then. He's going to take this at corner. Things are looking up here. The fans are getting incensed by all this now. It's good. The atmosphere's developing. It's uh, great to be here. In comes Kelly with a shot. Headed in. Oh, a free header there. And Holman, I think it is, just uh, puts it uh, wide. Wellington, but headed out by Diamonds and cleared. Eventually hoofed away high into the night sky. And it's going to put Kelly Evans under pressure. As the large Hopkins is uh, brought down by Kelly Evans to the delight of the Diamonds fan and uh, incredible when you see the size of um, Hopkins nine foot two and you see the size of Kelly Evans three foot one it uh, doesn't really seem that was possible Hicks can tries to shot in it's a bit melee in there in comes Hicks and tries shot it goes wide Hicks Nathan Hicks fires one across the goal and score Nathan Hicks puts the Diamonds ahead a low shot to Paul White's left, low and in the net. 1-0 Rushden. Just inside the penalty area. Puts the ball in. Headed out. There's Cunnington. There's Kelly. And Kelly misses an absolute sitter. Oh, sorry, Mikkel uh, goes forward. Still going into Mikkel. Finds O'Connor. O'Connor's through here. O'Connor! Oh, he's blazed it past the post. He's hit it low with a left foot. Driven it across the face of goal. Kelly crosses. No, he doesn't. Now he does. Cut out. Mikkel takes a touch. Onto his right foot, Mikkel! Yes! Yes! Lyndon Mikkel! If the Woo! first one from Diamonds was good, this is just as good! Lyndon Mikkel cuts in onto his right foot, beats his man, and dispatches a rocket into the bottom corner. I think the goalkeeper got a hand on it, it wasn't enough. It doesn't matter, it's catching one, Diamonds one, game on! Header, one by Lorraine, and Stora just clears away. No one's there. Oh, he's missed the ball, the uh, Diamonds player. And Holman is fouled, and that will be a booking. It's the number four, isn't it? It's the number four. He's already been booked. He might be gone here, the number four. What's yep. the number four? Surely he's It is. Be... He's gone. Yep. Well, Diamonds down to ten. Well, listen to the roar. It's like a goal's been scored here at Latimer Park. Burton Latimer has been woken up by a red card. Yep. It's been up into the air, not really out. Now it's out. And the Diamonds player falls over. Oh, that's dangerous from both players. And it's a red card for Richens. Well, we're all even. Richens went in with some vigour. He didn't get to the ball. He got to the man. And honestly, I really don't know whether he can have any complaints. O'Connor. Back to Stora. Stora needs an option. Goes towards Holman. Oh, he's kept it in Holman. He's done really well. Got to get players into the box now. Dan Holman on the left-hand side. Twisting, turning, back onto his stronger foot. Right foot, puts it in. Kelly Evans header! Yes! Yes! Reece Holman has just won it for Ketrin! Oh, can yes! you believe it? Can you just believe it? Richard Atkinson, that tin hat fund, just has to go to replace <laughs> the roof that has just flown down Burton Latimer High Street on the current one. Ketrin have won this game with virtually the last header of the ball. Goodness gracious me. Yes! Well, 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 what a finish for Ketrin Town here this afternoon. Bro. Last chance saloon for Diamonds. Ketrin have hit by one goal. One late goal this season already. It was here. It was Redditch. Kettering. Do not want to be hit by another one here. Long throw in. Headed away. Volley cleared. Holman's through. Holman's through. No, he's not. He's... But there it is. Catherine Town have won on New Year's Day in the most dramatic of circumstances. Mount Lewis on his knees. The first half 
uneventful. The second half, well, where do we start? It started with Diamonds taking the lead. Former poppy Nathan Hicks with an absolute cracker into the far corner, it has to be said. And that, we thought, was going to be a long afternoon for Kettering before Lyndon Meekle picked up the ball 25 yards from goal, shifted onto his right foot and hit a finely hit strike into the bottom corner. Keeper get a hand to it, couldn't quite keep enough. And then, drama of all drama, Rushton, number four, Jack Westbrook, I've never seen was Marcus. sent off for a second bookable offence. And that was it. Kettred thought the momentum was with them before Michael Richens went in an absolute cruncher of a challenge. He was off the ground. He could have no complaints. Brought the teams and the scores level. We thought the chance had gone with just seconds to go when the ball went in. It was headed back across goal. Reese Honest was all by himself and he just nodded it into an open net in the last minute of the game. And the Latimer Park went absolutely ballistic. Honest now. Puts the ball in. Not a great ball. Meikle, Meikle still going. Lyndon Meikle still going. Shoot. Oh, what a goal, Lyndon Meikle. There Ooh. it is, the breakthrough. Meikle drifted past about two Tamworth players towards the right-hand side of the area and unleashed a shot across goal. Keeper beaten into the side netting on the far side. Brings Ketrin ahead for the first time this game. Clinton flicks the ball through, now it's one on one here with Reese Honus and Simpson. Honus comes through, goes bound, is brought down, penalty. And that should be a sending off for the goalkeeper who's last man. It's a booking, but it is uh, Holman now behind the tin hat. Holman steps up, takes a stagger, sends goalkeeper one way, 2-0. Damn. Tamworth have made an adjustment to their formation since the second Kettering goal went in and that means that Greg Smith has gone up top with Michael Taylor so it's now a 4-4-2 for them. Penalty. And uh, Kettering have given away a penalty. It is Taylor who goes down. Look, hasn't been taken yet. Greg Smith then walks up to it. Paul White gets a hand to it on the line and the follow-up has been put in. Yep, Matt Moser, number four, was quickest to react from the save from Paul White. It was an excellent save. Paul White's disappointed that a Kettering player wasn't following up as quickly as Matt but Moser was. So, moment cleared away. Richards puts long and Honus is going to chase. There's a man covering. Honus gets there first. He's caught. And uh, Richards is straight over asking the question. Yeah, I think it's a yellow car. Kettle was uh, in attendance, shall we say, as well. So... And One of those uh, again. Oh, oh it's no, a it's red. a red card. It's a red. Goes in. It's a good ball. Holman at the front post. Yes. Goal! There it is. Dan Holman with a diving header at the front post. We said put it between chest and feet height, and that's exactly where it was. One man, Ben Mills in front of it, comes down low, a little flick and uh, flicked out. Long range shot here comes in, and they've equalised. One all straight away. Low shot, beating Paul White. Towers try to get there. O'Connor goes, uh, goes down, gets up, gets the ball. 
Milnes. And uh, a terrible tackle there by the number 11. It was uh, Nawupi who went down. There's a red card and he's gone. He's taken by the number 10 ball. It comes in here and that's a goal. That's a fantastic goal. Paul White beaten uh, easily there on his uh, right-hand side. It was curled away over the wall and kept him finding themselves 2-1 down, having been 1-0 up. And can't. McNamara flicks the ball through towards White. White's now in front of uh, Paul White, gets one in. It goes in, 3-1, Paul White beaten. That could be game, set and match. Linda Meikle on the edge, he does. Meikle twists and turns, does well, puts the board in on his left. Clips of Aaron O'Connor. And uh, the save from Donkin, though, but it's been put in by Marcus Kelly on the back post. So Kettering do have their consolation, and I can't believe that uh, there's going to be any more seconds once this uh, restart takes place. I was worried about today, um, justifiably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but from the where we were at half time very very frustrated and annoyed but we got like I said we got um, not dwell on it we we gifted them the opportunities to punish us and they gladly took them and we haven't done enough cleared but back to Kelly Kelly finds uh, Richards Richards square towards uh, Meikle Meikle feeds the ball through to O'Connor O'Connor through here can this be the goal it is 1-0 Aaron O'Connor beats the trap Slams it past Welsh, Welsh and Ketrin take the lead they thoroughly deserve. 1-0. Aaron O'Connor missed a golden chance in the first half. He wasn't missing that one. Wonderful through ball. Good play from Linda Meikle. Um, good movement for our first goal. I think the lads took it extremely well. Brett, the, the Kettering Angel. Um, and there wasn't much in it. And then the, the young lad has stepped up. He's pushed away some very, uh, very good footballers out of the way. And uh, what a way to introduce yourself to the Kettering faithful. And it's a fantastic story. Coleman turns, he's got Kelly one side, he can't see him though, puts the ball forward towards Stora, Stora, six yard box, puts it square there, he must be going, it is, it's a goal, 1-0, Aaron O'Connor, well I thought we were going to miss that one. Yeah, it was a very acute angle on that uh, far side, only a few yards out, but it was a very acute angle, but Aaron O'Connor just doing enough to get uh, his foot on the, uh, on the ball, to divert the ball home. Need to mark it under pressure here. He's got uh, Martin puts one in and Paul White again, and what a goal! Well, 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 it's been coming. And uh, leading goal scorer there, Martin takes advantage, has the ball for Ketrin, has to go back though, plays it towards Richens. Richens flicks it towards Holman. Holman heads on towards O'Connor. O'Connor's through here, fires one thing. O'Connor scores! A lovely goal for Marin O'Connor! Side foots it past. Jessup and it's 2-1 to the Poppies. Milnes back to uh, Squire. Squire pumps the ball forward for Comanzi. Comanzi's in front of uh, Rotono Falls and that's a penalty. Unbelievable. The Comanzi has bought that one there, initiating the contact almost with uh, Marcus Kelly. Martin then uh, steps up, takes one, takes two, steps it, sends White the wrong way and uh, the seven Needham fans behind the goal there uh, uh, very, very happy with that uh, decision. So 2-2. Two, two. Uh, ricochets to uh, White, who clears quickly. Looking for Brett Sulkin with the flick on. He does get the flick on to uh, to Mikul into the penalty area on his right foot. Looking to cross. Great shot. And go. Oh! What a finish! Lyndon Mikul on his right foot. What a fantastic finish from a tight angle. And more drama here with a late goal for Kettering Town. Fantastic finish, Lyndon Meikle.
It was a good performance, though, wasn't it? You can't really say too much more than that it was. No, we just got it. If we, I've just said to the lads in there, we got to match that kind of endeavour, that um, decision making uh, and quality. And it, it'll be a case of just, you know, week in, week out, matching it. We'll, we'll win more than we, we certainly lose. And uh, the, the boys are bowed with confidence. They're, they're backing each other and trusting themselves. And uh, you've really seen that today. By the way, comes Seymour Shove. He's like one on one here with Paul White. Comes over, puts the ball over. And uh, it's a penalty. Referee blows his whistle. Parker steps up to it. In comes Parker, takes it. Paul White goes the right way, but he can't get his uh, hand to the ball. Going to go towards uh, Colson. He doesn't win the ball. Honus does. Honus uh, has got O'Connor one side of him. Feeds the ball through to O'Connor. O'Connor shoots. One all. Yes. Back in it. Super strike from O'Connor. And uh, he's uh, made amends for that miss. Beautiful goal from Aaron O'Connor. One all. Ketrin back in it. Puts the ball forward towards O'Connor. O'Connor might get this. Does put the ball forward here. It goes open there. And Cunnington then is brought down. And the referee might give something this time. I'm not sure. The linesman was flagging. And he has given a penalty. Holman steps up. Fires. And misses. Once again, Holman has put it wide. Good save by... Uh, Good save by Conway. Here, Honus comes inside the penalty area now. Here comes Honus. Can he do anything with it? Goes to one side, goes to flick the ball through. Great goal! Oh my word! What a goal from Honus! 2-1. Absolutely brilliant work from Honus. Wow! Well, after all that pressure, a missed penalty, one off the line from the Cunnington header, a block shot on the line from O'Connor. The ball was put wide out there. You thought all the way that uh, Honus was going to weave in and out and cross the ball. He hit it instead. It went into the roof of the net. 2-1. This could be an effort here. Marcus Kelly on the left-hand side, left-footed, swinging in. Holman's there. Oh, the goalkeeper stops it. Scramble. O'Connor. Goal! It's there. Tetrick have got an early lead, and I've called it the man to bring it. Oh. Tamworth nil, Stourbridge nil, Royston won, Colville nil. Biggles Wade now 1-1 one, one with... Uh, oh, chance! Oh, it's in! And uh, while I was giving the scores out there, a lofted shot beats Paul White. And uh, the scores are level. Intercepted by May. Paul's put back to uh, Sargent. And, uh, well, what have we here? What, how bizarre is that? The player's just knocked it back to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper's picked it up. And uh, Richards is in the wall as well, trying to obscure it. In it comes, there's a little <laughs> faint there. In it comes now, it's ricocheted off. Oh. And uh, on the line, it's caught by the diving goalkeeper, Sergeant. Corner comes in, headed away. Not where Ketrin really wanted to do it. Kelly puts it through. O'Connor's on the right-hand side of the box now. Lofts it back over. Goalkeeper. Goal! Injury time does it again for Kettering. And it's Mr. Kettering himself, Brett Salton. Callan Thomas, the centre of the park. He sprays it out wide to McClinchy. Good one, two there. Back to Thomas. He comes inside now. It's going to be a tricky here as Thomas comes in, goes down. Uh, penalty. Away. Paul uh, White in the middle of his goal sprays his hands up, steps at Mitchell now, fires in there. And uh, Paul White went the right way. Puts it through towards Stora. Stora got plenty of space. Loses the ball to Meikle. Meikle feeds. Uh, Honus, Honus, inside the penalty area, comes in, back post, has Holman, pushed out by the goalkeeper, and it comes Richards, fires one in, oh my word, 25 yard, it hits the bar, comes in, and the... Stan Holman, I think it was, who got the goal. But uh, yeah, it, it, the ball was just pinging around in the box there. A wonderful uh, effort from Michael Richards, hit the underside of the bar. Found Kelly Evans who hooks the ball back in. There is O'Connor. O'Connor trapped it with one way. O'Connor might try a shot. Does. Yeah! Go! Yeah! 
Unbelievable! This time Aaron O'Connor shot, I thought the goal had gone in, it came off the post, then comes in Kelly, it ricochets off Kelly, off the goalkeeper, into the net, work that one out, Gary Foreman. Well the first goal was a bit of a jumbled affair, uh, that was uh, fairly similar but it was clearly Aaron O'Connor with the shot at the uh, edge of the penalty box on his right foot. He's been given, Mitchell gets the ball, plays it out wide to Berridge, Berridge turns, tries in a shot, comes in and scores a long range 25 30 yarder he was uh, acres of space there and here we go free kick comes into the penalty spot and it perry perry has scored for colville kyle perry with the header teams are changing ends catcher will be kicking towards the tin hat nonchalantly puts the ball back to kelly from that throw and he finds Richards back to Stanley under pressure and that's a Blimey. filthy foul there from Hotter it's and the Ketrin fans are going mad here as the it's players are that. and there's a bit of argy-bargy here between uh, Wise it's and Sulkin it was a terrible two-footed tackle and uh, Talis uh, is uh, going to produce what colour card John? Red yeah. Red! He's gone! And rightly so, no argument, no argument there. <laughs> but, uh, cut out by Stanley. Now Holman's Chase underneath that. this, and it's going to get through to Wise. Heads it back to keeper. Out comes Honus. Honus is through. Open goal. Goal. And goal. Awful back pass by Banbury. Intercepted by Honus. And just three minutes after the sending off, Reese Honus puts the poppies 1 0 ahead. Yeah. Really good ball over the top. You could see, you could see Honus anticipating that Wise was going to head it back. He did head it back. He didn't get enough on it. Round the keeper he goes, rolls it in. It's been a useful three minutes for catching Banbury down to ten men, and now they've gifted them the opening goal. Yeah, as we hold, as we hold on to this scaffolding and try to make sure we don't fall off. And well, that is the <laughs> that is the order of the day, isn't it? The ball's put forward towards Holman. Holman's got, got nobody with him on the uh, edge of the penalty area. Stora and Sulkin in there. So back towards Sulkin, back post, headed out, there's Storer underneath, yes. Storer fires! Oh! <laughs> and, the boy, and he plants it back hard in 2-0! This is absolutely magnificent, Gary Storer! What a goal! Brilliant work from Holman, lovely ball over the top. Holman picks up, crossed it over, half cleared by the header, Sulkin was there challenging for it. And it, I mean, it, it dropped perfectly for him, but he's absolutely cracked it on the volley. Bottom corner. Thank you very much. 2-0. Gets it to Meikle. Back to Kelly. To Meikle. Meikle on the outside. The country puts the ball in towards the back post. There's, uh, there is Sulkin. Sulkin fires one in. 3-0. Oh, no. He's done it again. The Ketrin Angel is 114th goal for the Poppies in his uh, 560th appearance. 3-0. But I felt first half we didn't start uh, very well at all. Uh, I think the whole performance was um, fairly sluggish. Um, yeah, we didn't start the brightest. They uh, all put off a great save. There was a lot of cross come shots. Um, but then we, we sort of got uh, our foot in. We started controlling the game a little bit. Um, certainly towards the mid to end of the first half, um, we got Marcus a lot of the more of the ball. Um, and yeah, it was a sucker punch in that they've scored from a, a counter, counter attack. Um, we've just allowed the lad a bit of freedom to turn and he's drove at us. And um, yeah, you know, it was a race to the 18 yard box, which they beat us, which is a bit disappointing. But up until probably, you know, 20 minutes prior to that, we were putting a lot of pressure onto them. Catron's 21st penalty of the season, matching last season's record of 21. And uh, we've scored 15 of those. Uh, Six in the league here at Latimer Park as uh, Honus steps up, takes it, takes it, sent one the wrong way, and one nil to the Poppies. Kelly Evans, Kelly Evans, still with it, back to Mills, Mills puts one into Holman, Holman clips it.
O'Connor back from suspension. Oh, there was an absolute... Well, look at the scene. Well, you can't look at the scenes. I'm sure the photos will show it and the footage will show it. The whole bench has launched themselves down to the corner flag to jump on O'Connor with quite possibly the last kick of the game. Yet again, a late last-minute goal from Ketron may just have secured... Well, it probably will have secured a title next weekend, but... Goodness me, what an end to this match. What an afternoon we could have for you. We don't need to be a, a rocket scientist to know that if Ketrin Town win this afternoon, then they will win the league. Corner about to become in then, taken by Tom Triton, and uh, it comes in low, headed out, it's a goal! Unmarked, 1-0, just what the Poppies didn't want, and they are behind Holman. Holman, he's got overlapping Kelly, putting forward towards uh, O'Connor. Connor, I thought that's a goal all the way, and wow, what a save from the uh, keeper in purple, in, in pink, and uh, a good start there for Ketrin. Corner to be taken by Kelly. But the, in it comes, it is a high corner hit, it's going to be a, a shot here to Storr, Storr puts the ball in, there's Holman, off the Yeah. It's a goal! Well, it's not. Congratulated. If so, that's his first goal for the club. And Ketrin are back in it. Stanley gets the goal that Ketrin have waited for. What? Unbelievable! And all of a sudden, the place has come alive. Stora then gets the ball, flicks it on towards Honus. Honus comes through. He's in here. Honus puts the ball in. He comes the wrong way. Oh. Brilliant save there again between the goalkeeper and a, an Alf Church defender. Holman's with him. Morrison uh, is fouling Holman all the way. Nothing given by the referee and he loses it. This could be danger for Ketrin as Bellis comes forward. Gets it through to the number 12, Landell. Landell in penalty area, put the ball square. Shot comes in through Paul's one. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Teams now enter the field, Ketrin in their red and black stripes and Hales Owen Town in all blue. The Ketrin Town side line up like this in goal is Paul White, captain number six, Michael Richin. Seven is Lyndon Meekle. Eight, Aaron O'Connor. Nine, Dan Holman. Eleven, Reese Onus. Twelve, Dion Kelly Evans. Fourteen, Marcus Kelly. Fifteen, Declan Towers. Eighteen, Nathaniel Roe Turner. And nineteen, Craig Stanley. You can see that now on your screens, I believe. Still going with Marcus Kelly, turns back. Looking for an option, he's going to have to go back to Roe Turner. Roe Turner plays to Marcus Kelly. Kelly goes back to Craig Stanley. Don't know what, the pressure from the forward line for Hales Owen is monstrous. Oh, that's a great ball oh, over to Dion Kelly Evans, who's burst forward. O'Connor, it's there! It's, it's Onis, O'Connor didn't get the touch! Onis flicks it across goal! And Ketrin have the lead that they so desired! in this game and it came from a wonderful ball out to Dion Kelly Evans who then just played it first time low on the ground nothing fancy about it just simple football and uh, Honus got a boot in it flicked it across goal O'Connor was there just in case it was going wide it didn't it snuck into the far post 13 seconds of the game left Van and that's Arma, all it is North beckons I think for Catherine Town referee looking at his watch and Paul White is about to take this uh, kick. There he goes. And yes! Come on! Ketrin Town are champions! <laughs> Absolutely superb. Not a classic game. They did enough. They came here. They've conquered. They've won 1-0. Champions! Champions! Champions!
throw in for Barwell. Taken back to the number three who left footed puts this one forward. Bounces. Towers does enough on it. Only gives it back to Barwell though and there could be a charge. Shot! Well, Barwell have scored. Uh, Dave, not the uh, result we wanted, but a fantastic afternoon. It's gone very, very well, hasn't it? And we are the champions, and you must be delighted. Yeah, no, it's, it's been two years in the journey. We set a, we set a plan out. It's, I can take no credit. It's been purely Marcus and the guys and the support. has been great. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, achievement for the club. You must be delighted, though. You've uh, achieved all that you set out to do to a certain extent. So we've got another league next season, but uh, no, yeah, no, this has been tremendous. Yeah, we're, we're back where we... We thought we should be. Um, we were relegated on the pitch uh, from the uh, Conference North. Uh, sorry, the Conference uh, League to the Conference North. Then we had a, uh, a forced relegation. Then we had a 12 point, I think it was it. 12 and a brief point stint as chairman as well. I had a very, very short stint as chairman. Yeah, um, but you yeah, know, this is a reset button. This is where the club should have been. I think it was six seasons ago. Six years ago. Um, so, you, you know, we're, we feel like this is a reset and um, we're looking forward to what the future will hold. This will tell us whether or not we can um, you know, be sustainable at this level. We believe it's where we should be. Now we have to prove we, we, we deserve to be here. Thank you. Put your hands together. Flags up, flags up. The champions.
Towers is uh, injured at the back, which I mean, his row turn is in, but we've got a chance here. It's uh, Honus away now. He might try a shot he's got there. It's, oh, what a goal from Reese Honus. Well, well, that uh, remarkable goal, wasn't it? You said he got a chance here. He ran onto the ball. It was a one-on-one, -on -one really, with the goalkeeper. He could have squared the ball over to O'Connor, but knowing the form that he's in, he gets his 21st goal of the season. Honus has the ball, gets it to Stora. Stora flicks it through for Honus and Richards. Richards gets there, puts in a left footer. There's Salkin at the back post. Point might see a bicycle kick, but not this time. It's uh, to O'Connor, back to... It's in from... <laughs> I was waiting to see what Salkin was going to do. Lovely work there from O'Connor. Feeds it through to Salkin. Salkin just helps the ball past Shergill. That's his 115th goal for the Poppies. Eighth league goal of the season and 17th goal overall. 2-0. Plays it to... Uh... The number eight, Faulkner. It's put through here to Singer. Singer puts the ball through. And that's a goal. And it's not Singer. It's Williams. Uh, and uh, it Kelly's is. got a chance to swing this one in for the free kick. Kelly then back post. That comes goalkeeper. There's a goal there from Stanley. Unmarked at the back post. Stanley gets his second goal of the season. Unmarked. Fishwick gets it back. Salkin retrieves the ball. Pumps it forward to Honus. Honus is away now. He's got nobody with him. Has to go out wide and penetrate. Comes inside. Tries a shot. Brilliant goal. Absolute brilliant goal from Reese Honus. Oh, that was a super one. 4-1. Wonderful ball through from uh, Brett Salkin. Judging it well. Reese Honus onto it straight away. And uh, I don't care whether the uh, Stratford uh, number one keeper's here or not. Uh, he wouldn't have saved it if he was, because that was a class finish from Reese Honus. Great. Puts it back to Honus. Honus signals, wants it over. Still Honus comes inside, plays it low, does well by line here. Ball comes in, flicked in, another goal! Who's claiming that one? O'Connor is claiming it. And Ketron running right here at the moment. It's looked like it was either Salkin or O'Connor, but it looks like O'Connor's going to get the plaudits here. 5-1. Uh, a professional performance. Um, I did mention that we hadn't won at home for a couple of weeks and we needed to give the fans something to, to cheer about. Um, obviously Stratford's agenda is all about the playoffs, so they give the opportunity to give some of their youngsters an experience. Um, obviously a decent crowd for them to play in front of. Um, but yeah, we, we could have quite easily have just uh, gone through the motions and um, I, th I felt fair play to the players who uh, committed themselves and, and got the job done and we can look forward to another game at home next week. And Can't quite find good ship or Harry, uh, sorry, uh, Harry Baker, so goes straight through to the hands of uh, Paul Wilde, although uh, Amara Reese Otis, sorry, he's managed to get one of these long throw quicks and he's blasted his shot over the bar. Well, Craig Stanley in advanced position now and catching deep into Weymouth territory. Marcus Kelly on the ball on this near hand side. Round Brooks plays out to the centre of the pitch for Mickles Richards and oh, just over the bar. Shot from 20, 22 yards out. Touchdown though, nice put down. Brooks running into the box. He's beaten Craig Stanley and he's just knocked this home. Brooks has knocked it home. Past uh, Paul White, it was static, it's about eight yards out and Weymouth have taken the lead on 27 minutes. Not many options though, not many bodies to try and find, only two uh, strikers to go for. Although, nice touch though from Aaron Connor and he's just wide of the right hand post. Catching still with the ball now, it's uh, dinked in by Kelly and a nice nod in here there. And nodded over by a mere inch by Aaron O'Connor. Uh, Stora comes away with it and a chance for, oh, a header there from... Uh, Aaron O'Connor and Mark Charles had absolutely no idea there. He was about four yards out, point blank header, and hits the body of Charles and out. With and James Bryson at the minute on the left hand side. He tries to run into the box himself, trying to do too much. Uh, still not cleared though by Weymouth, and a bit of fell down. I believe it's going to be penalty. Penalty to Kettering Town! Let's see where this one goes. Reese Hodes. Oh, it's saved! Saved by Charles with his feet! Side finds James uh, Brighton. He finds Marcus Kelly, bobbles a little bit there, oh the bobble there beats him in the D though, but only as far as you know, Gary Storer, looks at the touch, looks at the shoot, maybe Aaron O'Connor, Aaron O'Connor, handball they claim, but no Aaron, Aaron O'Connor still comes around the ball on that byline, should be James Brighton now, still in the area, touch, Gary Storer maybe from a shot, no, off the post by Brett Sulkin, and over the line, over the line by Brett Sulkin, who was it going to be, of course it was, and well, it was coming, it has to be said. And 85 minutes, Brett Sulkins gets the equaliser. And, uh, well, Weymouth look 
disgusted by it. They're remonstrating. They thought it was a handball. They thought there was uh, the uh, Carmichael was brought down inside the area. See, Weymouth can weather the ball on the far hand side. Brooks plays into the centre. Good chip again with that man. Oz Bagger here. Opportunity and save needed there from Paul Wise. A wonderful save. Right. It's going to be Marcus Kelly. What can he do against Charles? For four all. Saved! Saved! Nice saving height for him. Diving to his left. And it will be good chip now. Can he score so many goals to Weymouth? Can he score this one, this penalty? Can he? He can! And it's, it's going to be Weymouth taking home the Southern League Shields.